Brooke? Some missions require stealing from settlements. Be sure to gear up at the depot if you need to. Hey, I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet, because I'm coming after you. No, I'm not going to try and talk you to handing me over all your hard-earned credits. I'm gonna take them off your smoldering corpse. Delgado said you should leave this station, Mathis. I suggest you follow his instructions. Now get the hell out of me way! Well, isn't this cozy? It appears we've stumbled. What's the embodiment of the phrase? Absolute mayhem. We haven't decided. Those credits ain't gonna steal themselves. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. Seems to me, instead of trawling deep space for stick change... Of course you'll get a cut. That's how everything works around here. Why would this be any different? Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Galbait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're hilarious. You should stand up on the bar here and start telling more jokes. This crowd would eat it up. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Unless you plan to walk away empty-handed, she really isn't giving us a choice. Rokov does is feed me information. If I ask him to lift a finger, he gives me enough sob stories to fill a freighter's cargo bay. If you want my advice, leave him completely out of the loop. Otherwise, it's gonna cost both of us some credits. Yeah, ES, Earth, Savior. Get it? Come on. Keep up with me here. I got about 17 other things to do, and you're holding me up. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my credits. Because that's exactly what you are a rookie, a newbie, fresh meat. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. Hit me up if you got questions. Always your eyes for a bigger conversation.
visiting with the Crimson Fleet, eh? Hmm, always a pleasure. You can get work from the boards near the Reckoner's Core. The boss will be sure. Balk Krog is fine. Give me my team one shot. Give me an early brown. Every Krog captain here's earned their stripes, bleeding for their feet. Need something? Where are we going? What are we doing? What's next for me and you? Acknowledged. You're clear to dock at docking port one. The commander will be waiting for you in operations. a pleasant change of scenery. I saw one of the Ensigns get an Alpha Centauri from Officer Petrosi. Yo. Back. So how did it go? Please, proceed with your report. You stop now. Delgado will make it his life's work to hunt you down and kill you. Not to mention the fact that you could potentially jeopardize the intelligence operatives we have in the field. Lieutenant Toft is correct. 
I'm sorry, but there is no turning back. That being said, I believe you should be proud of what you've accomplished. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? Excuse me, Commander. Did you say Crix's legacy? Please tell me you aren't seriously going to give that any credence. Everyone knows that's just a... I don't know, a myth? I'm holding tangible confirmation of the word legacy attached to Crix's name. That's too much of a coincidence to attribute to myth. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because gal bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? That one's simple. We monitored your ships heading down to the surface of Suvorov. In fact, when he returned to the quay and you didn't immediately follow, well, we almost thought our operation was terminated. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. And for some reason, he never got there. Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary, and Crix wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer, Shinya Voss, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No, the Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They haven't seen that much currency, well, ever. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. We're both dismissed. How did you board the key? Welcome to the briefing. As a personal rule, I, that means I I no mud on your boots, your hands are washed, and you are free of any contagion. Excellent. 
And all that being said, I understand you. So if you need to be a rum-drinking, swashbuckling pirate to do your... Really? I almost respect the fleet for doing that. They're... Ah, oh, my apologies. I didn't mean to be unprofessional. It's just rare to talk to someone who got to witness that history up close. But all that aside, give me your honest opinion. What would the condition be like? I was afraid of that. I think I'm starting to fully realize the hand we were... Truth be told, my ancestor was a god and weather, which is why I'd like to hear. So, have you ever heard of Trenchfoot? Can't say that I have. Well, they say guards are at Suvorov would sometimes trudge through cold, frost wet. Some of the guards don't take kindly to the brute. As a matter of fact, I understand that part of your undercover work involves... While you're there, if you find anything pertaining to the history of the fleet, I'd be interested in... I apologize, but no one from our side has been to the key in ages. The history buff in me wants to learn more. I appreciate it. I've actually heard rumors about there being audio logs for an interview the founder of the fleet, Jasper Crix, did on the key. I'm interested in anything he had to say regarding his time in prison and how the prisoners were treated. If you find anything like that, bring it back here and we'll take a listen. The fleet and the UC are intertwined and I've always felt knowing that past is an important part of what, in life, history can be a guide, a warning, or at times, a reflection. And if you want to know which one it is, you have to stare it in the face, regardless of how ugly it is. You're dismissed. We'll keep the brig ready, keep the floor, and your nose clean, and you can stay as long as you like. I do, but if I may, hey, I would argue that it's not our intent to attack. These are direct threats to the health and safety of this group, and by extension, the security of this group. Excuse me. Doff when you are, Captain. Anything I can help you with? 
Okay, no problem. Nothing for us to do. I'm sure you can find some. feels I try to keep your ship clean at all times cleanliness is next to godliness and godliness is next to you of course I'm an open book Re back to work then
So, were you eating at the Sage Brook, or is it just a quick snap from the terrible? Mind bunking on the ship, but nothing is better than unwinding in your own quarters. Your circuits, Captain. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your... Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep. Good day, Captain. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but...
guess, my captain? G-kick complete. Orbit steady. I am the moth to your flame, the magnet to your fridge, the flint in your pocket! not be Jensen, but this ship is starting to feel... Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting. But I am dissatisfied with the results.
I'm listening. I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. Bring me anything you... Bye for now. Can I help? Dropping off a few... Goodbye. About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Because the only way to achieve a win is by agreeing to play the game in the first place. Worst case scenario, I don't make the fleet, but I end up a couple thousand credits richer. That's almost a win-win, don't you think? Happy? Oh, I'm thrilled. Still, this leaves me with a lot of unknowns, and in our line of work, unknowns get you killed. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Fine. Have it your way. Apparently, you have everything under control. So why are you targeting Gall Bank Exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? Merchant vessels, transport, supply convoys, mining settlements, you get the picture. But taking on a megacorp, that's a really big deal. Something the Crimson Fleet stayed away from in the past. Sounds to me like Delgado's either getting desperate, or this is leading to an even bigger score down the road. Playing it safe for now. Okay. I can respect that. But let's make one thing clear. If I'm gonna stick my neck out by helping you get near Dombrowski, I want something in return. Like him or not, he's the Siren's captain, so his assistance is going to be invaluable. Maybe we should hear what he has to say. Well, well, it appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. <sighs> Fine. If you want to play it that way, then suit yourself. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, 
the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Oh, God. I'd rather hunt down Varun's zealots than mingle with those egotistical frauds. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper-level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. Oh, I know plenty. Been tracking that beauty for months. Neva and I were working out something. Hey, wait a minute. Don't tell me she's sending you out for the award alone. And of course, Neva just happened to leave that out of her message about you, right? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut pay up. So tell me, what's the status of your plan? I want saw Neva strip down a UC security ship and uh, sell the parts back to the UC through a shell company. If that doesn't put your concerns to rest, I don't know what will. Now tell me, what about the status of your plan? How can I help? Okay. Then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Ballroom. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is gonna set off the ship's alarms. They claim their goal is to celebrate the soul of the Earth, the culture, the people, and the ideals of the past. In their minds, Earth is now dead, which is why they feel that preservation of its remaining aspects is so important. In reality, this is what happens when folks with far too much time and far too much money get together to make themselves feel like they're contributing to society. Oh, and while you're at the gala, oh boy, they cannot afford this. They're frozen, not fresh. You're a guest of Captain Rock. All right. Welcome aboard. 
Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I count my blessings to have been posted to a ship like the Siren of the Stars. This is one of Trident's top-of-the-line vessels. Hell of a ship, isn't it? must have spent a fortune equipping this ship with triple redundancy in almost every You're a guest of Captain Rokov, right? Welcome aboard. 